Hey everybody, welcome back. It's that time of week again where we geek out. Woo! We geek out about movies and we geek out hard. So as usual, first we're going to run through the weekend, this past weekend's box office, and then we're going to jump into talking about Jackie Chan movies, which there's a little asterisk on that we'll get to in a minute. Um, but anyways, let's just get right in. Let's just dive right into this and let's start talking box office. So the big surprise, Don't Breathe, is the number one movie. And I always love to see horror sitting atop everything. Um, really want to see this. Almost got to see it, but you know, it is going to be a little too horror for Mary to go see, so I will wait and see it on Blu-ray, unless I get a bored day and I just want to go to the theater. I got these free passes I need to use, so maybe I'll do that at some point. But anyways, it is number one with $26.4 million. That is huge because its budget was 9.9. .9. So that is a stellar opening weekend. Um, word of mouth on it is it's very good from what I've been hearing, so it might stick around. I don't know that it'll hold number one, but it's going to stick around in that top for a little bit, I imagine. So very good, very cool. Love to see that happen. Number two for the fourth week in a row, Suicide Squad. Sweet, I did dig that movie. I know it's, you know, it's one of those people love or hate, but I liked it, so I'm, I, you know, sorry. I'm really, truly sorry if you didn't. If you couldn't enjoy it, I'm sorry for you. I get it. I, you know, I've had that problem with movies too, so. You know, like, I wanted to love Sausage Party, and I, I didn't love it as much as I was, so I get it. I get where you're coming from. Uh, no skin off anybody's back, but uh, it has pulled in $283 million domestically on a $175 million budget, so it's doing pretty darn well. Uh, number three, Kubo and the Two Strings, 7.8 million second week. Total is 24.8 million on a $60 million budget. Not very good, and of course, you know, you've heard the stories about the animators being underpaid and mistreated, so yeah, kind of a bummer for everybody involved, or maybe it's karma and just desserts. Just desserts? Just desserts, yeah, I don't know, whatever, whatever that phrase is. Uh, number four, speaking of, Sausage Party, uh, for its third week out, brought in 7.5 million with a total of 79.8 on a $19 million budget. Um, I hear that one also was treated poorly, or maybe that's the one that was treated poorly and not Kubo. I can't remember, maybe they both were. Hell, it's Hollywood, they were probably all treated poorly. Uh, but anyways, I think we already got I heard we're getting a sequel to that, so that's what's happening there. Number five, opening for its first week is Mechanic Resurrection, the Jason Statham thing. Opened with 7.4 million, so uh, I don't know what the budget is. It's probably a little bit more than that, but you know, I thought those were direct to DVD movies, so good, good, it's going to theaters and doing well. Crack the top five, excellent. Number six is Pete's Dragon with 7.4 million, bringing its total to 54.8 million on a $65 million budget in its third week. That's okay. Not really hearing anything about that one either way. Number seven, War Dogs. Pulled in another $7 million, bringing its total to 27.5 for its second week. Uh, that movie looks more expensive than that, so they don't have the budget listed, I don't know. Number eight, Bad Moms. We may go see that maybe this week, and I'll explain that in a minute. It pulled in 5.5 million, uh, bringing its total to 95.2 on a $20 million budget. That is awesome. There should be a Bad Moms 2. Um, hopefully we'll get more movies like that. I'm down. Number nine, Jason Bourne comes in with $5.1 million, bringing its total to 149.2 on a $120 million budget in its fifth week. Still kicking some ass as Jason Bourne does. Number 10, somehow, has been her uh, with $4.5 million. Ooh, it's its second week, and it brought in 19.5 on a $100 million budget. Mmm, yep, that was a mistake. Someone's getting fired somewhere. Um, <laughs> yeah, from what I've heard about that movie, probably deservedly so. All right, well, anyways, that's the top 10. We'll do the honorable mention of the next five. And 11 was Secret Life of Pets, bringing another 3.8, bringing a total of $353.3 million. Jesus. Number 12, Hell or High Water, pulled in another 3.5 million, bringing its total to 8.3. Really still want to see that. Number 13, Florence Foster Jenkins, in its third week, brought in 2.9, bringing its total to 19.8. And 14, Southside With You? I don't know what that one is. It is 2.8 million? Uh, in its first week, I'd never heard of it. Star Trek Beyond is number 15, so it pulled in 2.2 and a total of 150.8. So it still hasn't hit its budget though. In six weeks, 185 million. That's a little, uh, that's gotta be disappointing for them. I would think they've already greenlit a fourth one. Anyways, that's what's going on with the box office, guys. All right, so let's move on to talking about Jackie Chan movies. Now, before we get into this, just real quick, I wanted to say the plan was to go see this movie, Skip Trace, with Jackie Chan, Johnny Knoxville this weekend. Uh, on Fandango, it had been saying it was coming out this week forever and ever. I went to look today, and it moved in its position, and no one's playing it, and it says it opened this summer. So I guess we're not seeing that, so the theme of the week is kind of screwed now. But I figure, what the hell, we're here. Uh, I watched uh, the Tuxedo last night to test out the GoPros, um, and you'll see that later this week. Uh, so we might as well just talk about the Jackie Chan movies, because I do love some Jackie Chan movies. So. Um, yeah, sorry about that. That's why I said maybe we'll go see Bad Moms. Don't know what to do there. You know, shit happens sometimes. <coughs> I guess that's the problem with not being summer movie season is it's inconsistent. 
Anyways, Jackie Chan, yes. Uh, I already kind of looked at this list the other day and I had a big surprise, but I'll get to that in a minute. So again, I just Google, thing, I Google Jackie Chan movies and see what comes up and that's what I'm gonna talk about. So we have Who Am I? I do vaguely remember that. It was uh, 1998 and that's like he's got uh, Amy. It's kind of his version of the Bourne. Ooh, and it came out before Born. Although Born was a book, though, so maybe they read the book. I don't know. Anyways, I kind of remember that one. It was it was good. It was a good one. Uh, Legend of the Drunken Master. It was actually, or, I'm sorry, Drunken Master Two. I've definitely seen that one. That is a classic. That is fantastic. Um, I'm not sure if I've seen the original Drunken Master, which is a shame because the, the, the at least the, the second one is so great. The first one probably is too. Police Story. I know I've seen, but it has been a long time. So you know, a lot of these kind of run together. Uh, so I can't really remember what's what, but I. I remember liking pretty much any of them I've seen, with few exceptions when we get to some of the Hollywood stuff. Uh, Project A, that was a good one. I think there was a Project A too. I think I got a Blu-ray that has both of those on those recently. So I'll try to watch those soon. Uh, of course, Rush Hour. Now the whole Rush Hour trilogy, I thoroughly enjoy. Uh, particularly the outtakes at the credits of those are really great. There's one, I think it's in the first movie when like a bad guy goes out a window and there's this ad lib outtake of Chris Tucker saying, damn, he ain't gonna be in the sequel. And I don't know, that one just killed me. So uh, that was really cool. Uh, see, then we had Armor of God 2, Operation Condor. I remember Operation Condor, that was a pretty good one. Shanghai Noon with Owen Wilson. That's the first one, right? Yeah, that was the first one. That was actually very, very enjoyable. Uh, not not as good a duo as him and Chris Rock, but still, uh, I'm not Chris Rock. Oh my God, excuse me, Chris Tucker. Um, what the fuck? Uh, anyways, still very enjoyable. Uh, then we have a, a fairly recent one from 2012, Chinese Zodiac. I've got that, I haven't watched it. <coughs> I thought about watching it last night, but I did not. Rush Hour 2, of course, is good. Armor of God, so I guess that's Operation Condor Part 1. Now, Rumble in the Bronx, that is that is my number one because that is the first Jackie Chan movie I ever saw, and uh, I still love that movie, and it's still just one of my favorites. Um, you know, that was when he started really, really kind of breaking into the mainstream in America. So uh, I remember having that on a laser disc and all kinds of stuff. So <laughs> yeah, um, so that was a lot of fun. Rush Hour Three, uh, City Hunter. I don't know if I ever saw Shanghai Nights. Mm, yeah, there's a reason we didn't get a third Shanghai movie. Um, the remake of The Karate Kid, I've never actually gotten around to watching. Uh, Police Story 4, First Strike, I don't think I saw that one. Tuxedo, I watched last night. It's not a great movie, it's not a bad movie, it's better than I remember it. Uh, Police Story 2, I'm sure I've seen some of the Police Stories. I just don't remember which ones. Um, it's been a long time. I went through a huge Hong Kong phase in the late 90s, you know, between John Woo and Jackie Chan and just all those kind of movies. But um, anyways, moving on. Oh! That's interesting. Super Cop is actually Police Story 3. I did not realize that. But I've definitely seen Super Cop. We probably all have. I think that was kind of right after Rumble in the Bronx. That was the next one to kind of hit big in America. Uh, Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, I don't know. The Myth, I don't know. Dragon Lord, I don't know. Forbidden Kingdom, I'm pretty sure I saw that. That was pretty good. Is that with Chow Yun Fat? I don't know. Uh, the Medallion, mm, I'm not sure if I saw that one or not, but I think it was bad if I did. <laughs> the Protector, I haven't seen. That's really more of a Tony Jaa movie, but I need to see that actually. The Spy Next Door, no, I kind of wish I had it though. That would have been more fun for Drunken Movie Night. Around the World in 80 Days from 2004, I never saw it. Uh, the Accidental Spy, that would have also been good for Drunken Movie Night, but I haven't seen that. That's from 2001. Wheels on Meals. I feel like I've seen that one, but I can't really remember. I feel like, were they like running food trucks? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm just totally wrong. Uh, the Young Master, I have not seen. New Police Story, I haven't seen that, but I need to. Uh, the Nice Guy, that was also around the time of Super Cop and Rumble in the Bronx. I remember liking that one. I don't remember really anything about it, I just remember liking it. Uh, the Fearless Hyena, I did not see. The Big Brawl, I did not see. Project A, Part 2. Uh, Heart of the Dragon, nope. Drunken Master, the original. Uh, Dragons Forever, 1911, I know nothing about that. Robin B. Hood. Mmm, that would have been a good one for drunk uh, movie night. <laughs> crime Story, I don't know. Maybe it's Crime Story I saw instead of Police Story. Miracles, I don't know anything about. Little Big Soldier. Uh, Twin Dragons, I remember liking that one, even though I don't really think it was really a good movie. That was when Jackie Chan plays his own twin, so that's always a fun thing to do. Double the Jackie Chan is not a bad thing. I haven't seen any of the Kung Fu Pandas, but he was in Kung Fu Panda too. Uh, yeah, anyways. And now we're getting to the end of the list, and there's two movies on here that when I found out last night, I was like, what? I actually even tweeted that. Um, so apparently Jackie Chan was in the first two Cannonball Run movies. I, what? <laughs> right? Um, so he played Jackie, so I'm sure it's a little cameo thing, and it's probably racial, racially stereotyped or something, but now I kind of really want to go watch those movies and see that, because 
don't tell anybody, but I'm not sure I actually ever saw any of the Cannonball Run movies. I think I've seen bits and pieces, but I've not really sat down and watched entire movies, so I'm going to have to get my hands on those and check those out. But anyways, there you go. That's pretty much the list that they give of Jackie Chan movies. So Rumble in the Bronx is in there for me. Rush Hour is in there for me. What else do I want to pick? I'm going to say Super Cop. Those are my three. Um, what order will I go? I'll go, I'll go that order. Rumble in the Bronx, Rush Hour, and Super Cop. Uh, honorable mention would be like a... Uh, uh, Twin Dragons? No, I don't know. I don't know what my honorable mentions would be other than Shanghai Nights would, uh, Shanghai Noon. The first one, yeah, Shanghai Noon would be in there as an honorable mention. But, uh, yeah, so there you go, guys. That's my, uh, Jackie Chan choices. What are your favorite Jackie Chan movies? What was not on this list that is great? What did I say I haven't seen that I absolutely need to see? Let me hear it down in the comments. Let's geek out, shall we? Um, that's what we do here. That's what the purpose of this, and that's why we call it geeking out. Uh, so anyways, I hope you like it. Uh, maybe playing with this format eventually. But until then, comment away. And you can also hit that thumbs up button. Give me the thumbs up of encouragement. It's always nice to be encouraged. Subscribe if you're new here. We do all kinds of fun, nerdy, geeky things every single day on the Eric Butts channel. And of course, share with your friends so we can all geek out together because that's what it's about is building an awesome geeky community where you're free to be the geek you want to be. Uh, you can also check the link to Patreon, help support the channel, help it grow, get more content if you want to. Just letting you know that option is out there. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here, put this thing together and try to get it online at some kind of time today. <laughs> so I'll see you guys. Later.